What what number do you think may be a little bit more reasonable if a guy said, you know what, I do want to, you know, move overseas or live overseas or whatever like that. What do you think that a guy needs to make from a yearly yearly perspective, from an American dollar perspective, uh, in order to be able to thrive or, or you know, do pretty much okay over there? I would say if you make $40,000 a year, that might be the equivalent of making about $400,000 a year. No, 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 no. You got to be kidding me. The average salary in the country that I've lived in have been between $300 and $600 a month. Uh, so if a guy I went to makes, the city of Bangkok. Because because they shame guys over here that make 40. They say the average black man in America, according to the numbers, is making $47,000 a year. They shame that guy. Mm-hmm. If a guy makes $47,000 a year here and he has no expenses mm-hmm. here, and let's just say he works remotely and he lives overseas, what's the like? What's the equivalent over there? I went to uh, Bangkok and had a friend of mine, you know, give, you know, give me a tour. And she's a school teacher. And she says, Aaron, uh, well, she's not a school teacher anymore. Now she does tours and she works for the, you know, for the government. And she was saying when I was a school teacher, I was making $300 a month, you know, and mm. Bangkok is, is not super expensive. You can get a really nice apartment out there for less than thousand dollars a month. And it look like you living in Manhattan, you know, a nice little sky rise apartment. Uh, but that's just, you know, it's, it's relatively cheap, cheaper to live in these countries, especially if you live outside of these marked up tourist areas. Right. So, if you know, if you, if you don't live directly, in the expensive areas, maybe 10, 15 minutes outside of it, mm-hmm. uh, you can, it's, it's very reasonable, man. 